Hello everyone, how's it going? Let me actually turn my lamp on. Hey, how you doing? There we go. That's a little bit lighter. I am doing well. How are you today? What's been going on? How are you? Um, going to be doing a dishcloth um, with some new yarn that I haven't ever used before. So we'll kind of see how it goes. See how we like it. Kind of go from there. Um, so uh, that was good. Are you making good progress on it? Um, I know that sometimes you can just like start a project and just kind of not leave, drop it, but just kind of not pick it up for a while. So that's good. I'm glad to hear that you're kind of moving along. Um, I actually just finished a scarf recently, uh, not a scarf, a blanket, so starting, started a, oh nice, so pretty good, so pretty good progress with it, um, so it's kind of nice when we get a, that first chunk of knitting done. Um, but yeah, like I, I just finished a blanket, so I'm doing kind of like a real, I'm getting into this, um, kind of phase where I'm doing like, kind of like big, huge, chunky, like scarves that are like super wide, like 60 to 90 stitches wide. And like with heavier yarn with like, that's going to be like super, not super long necessarily, but just kind of like. Ones that you can like wrap your hand head around in it and all that kind of stuff. So, um, that's what I've been kind of work uh been doing lately in my travel knitting, but also what I just started here. But I've um, it's also another good way of just um using up a lot of yarn. Um, that's why I've been trying to kind of do lately is just kind of move through some yarn. I mean, God knows I've, um, I've moved th through a lot of it lately, but, um, just so that way I can get a little more soon. is being a little bit weird right now but that's okay not even it's an acceptable way of being kind of funky I'll uh, Yeah, um, 
Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the only one that kind of gets on different kicks for different projects um, and just kind of um, roll with it and just kind of plan around it. Um, so, that, But that's kind of what I've been working on right now. Like, I don't mind getting on these kicks. Um, I de I'm just always kind of interested, kind of, um, where the yarn takes me almost and kind of um, see what um, I kind of lean towards and feel like doing. Cause it definitely like ebbs and flows a lot, so I'm doing well. Um, I've been doing okay. Like I didn't, um, I didn't stream last week, which, like, I don't know, just something about last week. I wasn't in, kind of in the mood to stream, so you know, one week I kind of. Took a week off for myself, you know. Um, I think between quarantine and my job being what it is and all, kind of all that stuff, um, I think it was just kind of time for a little. My mind was elsewhere. Sorry about that. But how how have you been doing? Hope you're doing doing okay. Keep them busy, keeping your wits about you. Hope you guys haven't been getting sick or anything like that. So please everyone stay safe and don't get sick. Um, But yeah, that's how I've been going. I mean, also I've been knitting so much. Ooh. I'm sorry to hear that you had such a week long headache, but I'm glad that you were able to get to the doctor and um, that you're doing better, better. Well, I'm happy that A, you were able to get to the doctor and B, that you, um, that he was able to help you out and that you're doing better now. Um, can't imagine. I've never had a week long headache, but I'm glad that it wasn't a migraine because migraines suck and are very debilitating. So I'm glad that um, you're doing better for this week. So. I am glad about that. So, well, that's good. Yeah, but also that's why I wanted to do um, like kind of a, di a dishcloth on stream this week just because it's a little smaller project, um, a little bit different. Um, I know there are a couple people out there that like doing um, dishcloth, so. Um, but also like this is kind of interesting yarn um because like i got it in my the mary maxim unboxing that i did a little while but it's they specifically call it scrub it which is interesting so i think um it's i feel like it's designed 
for dishcloth for like washcloths um because it does have like like some fringe on it um but if um if they don't call it scrub it and it's not me for just cloths then I don't know what it's made for so that's what we're gonna kind of go with um does that go Ooh, sock knitting now did you use a circular needle or did you do double edged uh double ed edged double edged needles whatever you know what I'm talking about um nothing wrong with that like I, I've done socks from here to there and, it, and also it is kind of a um unique thing so like I'm glad that you like socks magic loop okay That's awesome. What made you um, um, decide to decide to do socks? Just kind of felt like it and wanted to give it a shot. Cause like I, I socks are. Can be a little bit tricky and a little bit funky, but I kind of, I kind of like it. Well, I don't know if I knew it was your birthday, but happy late birthday. Excellent. That's why it's nice to ha kind of have friends that do uh, the same crafts as you is that you can kind of share you're welcome um share knowledge and um i think get yeah, you interested in doing a uh, different projects so um um but yeah that's awesome I probably should do some um, more socks. God no, I probably have some sock yarn laying around somewhere, but I need to. Ooh, I've not I've not designed socks yet. Um, that's one thing I have not done. I've done other types of designing, but not socks. So I commend her for designing socks. Does she design a lot of her own socks, or? Let's move this over here. 
and move this over here. Oh, nice. That's kind of awesome that she does that. I I, I haven't even I haven't. Um, I don't know if I like socks that much to start designing for them, so. But that is awesome that she does that. Very nice. Now, does she ever put up the patterns for sale or is it just like the socks? Cause like that would be interesting to kind of check out her, um, check out her store and kind of, Maybe that will help me motivate me to do some uh, more sock knitting myself. That's awesome though. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. I'm glad that you picked up a new skill with the knitting I have to go back to lace like um like um I did a little bit of lace work and I enjoyed it but I feel like I need to do more just to kind of um get a little bit better at it God forbid her children hate knitting or don't like crafting like at all. Cause that would be a shame. It's always hard when, you know, kids don't take after the parents in terms of like crafting and they're just like, no, I don't want to. They always want to pass down those skills from one generation to the next. kids and they don't like knitting. I don't know what I would do with myself. Alright, let's... Alright, we're starting to get a little bit of the pattern here. 
We'll see if it actually kind of shows up as much as I want it to. Come on. All right. kind of third of the way so we'll see how this yarn is kind of holding up with the pattern
really quickly. Hmm. Patterns. Sorry, glare's kind of hard. Not as clear as I thought it was going to be, but it's not that bad. I mean, I guess for our um, a hand towel, I guess. It's nice to have a pattern, but like seeing the pattern is not necessarily a huge disadvantage for something like this. That's okay. It's also just interesting because it is a little bit rougher yarn. Um, yeah, hi Joe. First of all, hi Joe, how you doing? It's nice to see you too. I have the same idea like that. I'm I'm actually doing a um, dishcloth tonight. Um, because like it kind of sounded like that's what it's he kind of here for is um, the dishcloth so it's definitely a, an interesting yarn because it does have like a little bit of a frill to it but it's um Um, I don't know. Like, uh, like uh, I'm just kind of, um, I've never seen a yarn kind of designed or at least marketed as, um, for, like, that's a scrub, but with bubbles on it and, like, kind of marketed towards, like, dishcloths. So. I'm always kind of interested in it. But hi Joe, how are you? How's everything going? Also, what are you working on? Is like hearing what people are working on. Definitely 
see the pattern, but it's not necessarily kind of like huge definition like what you get with some other yarn. Again, it's not a huge deal for a project like this, at least for me. But I just think it's interesting um, for this yarn. Like we still get enough of the detail where you can see the pattern, but um, it's not like I. <laughs> Very nice. I need to order some more yarn. Again, I'm in the same boat. Uh, same boat. It's like I I have enough yarn, but I I don't actually have enough yarn. You know, like it's I can always use some more yarn. Um, from in my stash, but it's always nice to have more yarn on the way. Oh, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. I'm sure she was happy with all the new disc cloths. I am doing uh, Bridget B R I D G E T T E. Oh, that is that actually gonna? It's not puppet popping up. Where want to? There we go. Okay. Um. Sorry, I'm like reaching over. Um, I yeah, there we go. Okay, E T T E. Um, that's the name of the pattern. Um, I definitely used it. Uh, I got it from Ravelry. Um, I can't remember. Uh, let me see if I can just. Uh, Deb Buckingham. Me too. I, I'm very much the same way of like, I'm always out for trying new yarns and new stuff. So I think that's why I like, part of the reason why I like mystery boxes so much is like, I like getting new stuff because it forces me to kind of, um, try new stuff and try new things. Um, Um, but that's also why I wanted to kind of try this yarn out. just become a mess um, because I like as much as I knit there's I always find like there's more yarn out there that I haven't tried so try as much as I can so that's where we are let's scrub it Uh, 
Um, so I honestly never left work. Um, uh, I work at an airport. I work for an airline. So I never, I'm deemed an ascension. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your cousin. Hopefully he's okay. Um, sorry to hear it. Tell your cousin to, I hope your cousin's okay um, in, in the accident and he's not seriously injured um, or anything like that. Um, uh, Hopefully, here it comes. Um, oh wow! Okay, go 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 to go to your cousin. Okay. I hope he's okay and he feel gets better. Um, sorry to hear that he was in an accident. That's rough, and hopefully he pulls out. And hopefully next week or the week after, he'll be okay. Ooh. Hi, Amaris. Hope her cousin's okay. It's never fun when someone's in an accident. But fingers crossed that he will be a okay. Um, but. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, um, but so I was, I work at a airport, so, sorry, to go back to work. Um, but yeah, like I was always, um, I was always at work. Yeah, so um, it is getting busier. Uh, we are getting more flights. It, was, it wasn't. It hasn't been like what it was, but it's next month we're gonna get a couple more flights back, um, which will be nice. Um, so I think it's gonna be interesting because. Um, I think their airline industry is going to take a little while to bounce back, but I don't know if it's going to be as long term as everyone expects. Um, because I, well, like, so... We cap our flights so that we have this uh, middle rows um, empty for like social distancing. You know, we want to try and keep everyone safe unless they're with family, then they get to sit together. Um, but I mean, even with our flight caps, our flights are still pretty full. Like people are still traveling. People are still going places amidst, amidst all of the pandemic and everything 
Um, so, I mean, I don't know what the new normal is going to be, but it's definitely going to be interesting just because it is going to be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, like we're getting there slowly but surely. So it's, um, we're getting there. So the next couple months will be much more closer to where we were um, in terms of busyness and everything like that. Um, how does it feel to be back at uh, the uh, the technical college where you work? Does it feel good to be back, or have you did you kind of dread going back? Um, because I know the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, like that's the thing is just like I, even when we kind of um, open up and kind of, you know, get to like more okay times, I'm still like my mom and like my mom is older. And like, I don't want like, I definitely will take a little extra time before I go out and visit. Um, because God forbid that I actually am carrying it, but it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think you, you're probably going to be okay just because like, since you are in a rural area, um, you're a little bit more protected. Hopefully, um, your daughter has been kind of taking the precautions. Um, seriously. So, but yeah, it's, definitely concerned with visiting relatives and family and friends um, just because yeah I mean I think it's like um, so like I'm going to visit an aunt and an uncle over 4th of July but um, they live on a farm and they're very like so that way um, he usually has a bunch of people over, but since he has a farm and everyone's outside, everyone can kind of spread out, take precautions, social distance, and kind of be safe. That's the only reason. Okay. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, that way you can kind of have some sense of normality but also kind of still uh, still be safe out there so um, but yeah I mean I, I'm even if I like I don't really go visit friends um, I don't really go visit family. You know, if I'm going to visit someone, it's going to be absolutely. It's that's the thing I work with. There's been, I mean, we've always been kind of um, on top of stuff on like in terms of wiping stuff down, being safe, but. It's there. We do wipe everything down at work, and we wear face masks, and we stay away from everyone else. So it's a lot of we do what we can to be safe for kind of everyone's 
sake. So it is it's kind of it's it's an interesting time that we live in, but we just gotta be safe. We will get through it. Um, but just as long as everyone kind of social distance, not as much hugging, if any. Not necessarily a bad, bad thing to do, but it's just good to be cautious. It doesn't hurt to be cautious. But work is work, life is life, so luckily we haven't had people be too upset about wearing face masks on plane and everything like that. So it's kind of kind of nice um, that people are kind of not throwing a fed over that. slowly get back to normal air, air traffic and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I, I've been doing that a lot more too. Um, in terms of, I've been doing a lot of like, um, Skyping, a lot of FaceTiming, a lot of um, stuff like that. Um, we've been like playing games online a lot more. And uh, You know, I've definitely been talking to my mom on the phone more just because, you know, she worries. So, you know. Yeah, it's. I can understand why everything's being canceled just because. God forbid, you know, like there's a big concert or something like that and like.
So it only takes one person to get a lot more people sick. Yeah. Most of them are being canceled, which I think it's being kind of the smart thing to do. So um but Slowly but surely, I feel like events will get back. And that's also the interesting thing um, in terms of like events being ha handled differently. It's just like people are doing like kind of like driving movies again, which is kind of awesome. But also like driving concerts are uh, becoming a thing. But also like streaming in terms of like YouTube and stuff like that. Um, they'll live stream like at summer, which is kind of a nifty idea, and I don't think a lot of people kind of thought about that until like recently. So it's but which is kind of nifty to have like to see like concerts being done online and a lot I know a lot of Broadway shows have been filmed so like they're showing them online and kind of all that stuff too so it's pretty cool it's pretty nice um in terms of like they're trying to do something different something they're adjusting to what um they can and can't do so Pretty cool. I'll be interested to see. Um, um if people still, um, If like pe like con venues and concerts will still be done online, like after all this is kind of done and over with, or if the or if they'll just go back to like normal in terms of concerts. Like that's um like that's actually a pretty cool idea is just like doing stuff like that um in terms of you still kind of get to do it just not in a conventional uh conventional sense like it's um that's awesome they're still trying I'm um, still trying to like hold their events, but it's a drive through. Oh. Well, that sounds like a really like a fun event to, just to go to. 
I'm gonna kind of check out um, because we don't get that type of stuff here in the east in terms of like having a bunch of farmers just like hold events and like go check them out and stuff still wrong with them. Sorry, I messed up this pattern. There we go, much better. All right, let's take a look at this. All right. Holds the pattern pretty well. Pretty awesome. Um, definitely a little bit rough but I think that's on purpose because they want to do um, I think they like I keep saying that I think they designed this specifically for dishcloths but um, I'll have to try kind of want to try it out and like use it to like scrub some dishes with um, but it holds a pattern pretty well lots of fuzzies on it so that's kind of cool it's an interesting color of green I will say that um, but I it's not it's not necessarily a bad bad color it's just an interesting color um, so but I think I am going to this will be a good stopping point for me tonight just because it is really kind of warm in my room right now and I'm a little sweaty not gonna lie I'm going to throw it away now. But anywho, I hope you guys have a good week. I hope everything goes well. And I will probably see you next week. If not, the definitely the week after that. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Can you see that my country biggest thing in life? Oh, gotcha. Interesting. You really live in like rural area. That's cool. That's nice. All right, anyway. Sorry. Joe sent one last comment. All right. So anyway, I will see you next week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.